please. Until now, I had never been to Southeast Iowa, and I couldn't pass up the opportunity to see it firsthand from Class B and C roads in some great vehicles with a local accomplice. Paul from Dirt Orcas is a native to this area and leads people on overland motorcycle and 4x4 tours. He was our guide for the day and knew the roads like the back of his hand. As you might suspect, the journey brings you right up to some gorgeous pastures and agricultural service roads. Pure Iowa. The densely forested river bottoms also offer some difficult terrain. The weather was bad, but we luckily beat most of the rain which came later in the day. This stream crossing had some remnants of an old bridge still standing vertically, challenging Mother Nature and time. To me, rural Iowa is always picturesque. This hill was something out of a Midwest postcard. A necessary break to chat and take photos was due. Here's the widest river crossing, and luckily the water level was no problem at all for us. Hit up dirt orcas if you want to take your motorcycle across it with them sometime. This was near the end of the journey, on a closed road. I wasn't able to film us crossing the deep mud pit, because when Cullen saw it, he just went for it without stopping to inspect, and we barely made it through. That might be a tough section. Looking at it to see if there's a way through for me. Paul's suspension <laughs> and tires were not high enough to make it, and believe me, we thought about it for a long time. It is, uh... Like once I gunned it and like had already committed to it, I was like, oh, this goes on further than I realized. Like it was probably the right decision to have him backtrack because once his frame dug into the mud, it would have just kept diving him down. We would have had a wicked time pulling him out with our straps. He circled back around and we linked up down the road and headed into Fairfield to celebrate the day at the local cider house, which was awesome. <laughs> They had a great food truck outside as well, and I crushed the shrimp and grits. It's a 480 beta street legal. At a nearby campsite, with rain showers off and on, our lean-to and growlers of cider provided us with a dry and relaxing environment to wind down.
morning, we said our goodbyes and many thanks, and I got them to christen my acoustic. I'm forever grateful for this experience and would love to return someday.